Which fence is better, cedar or vinyl? Stick around to find out. One of the most common questions we get about fencing is, should I do a cedar fence or a vinyl fence? Now, a lot of people know exactly what they want. Either they love the look of cedar or they love the, uh, the appeal of the vinyl, but some people are on the fence about it. When you're making this decision, there are several things to consider. You're gonna think about price. You're gonna be thinking about the appearance of the fence. Some people like one more than the other. You're gonna think about maintenance. We've found that people expect vinyl fencing to be a lot more than cedar, but when it comes right down to the raw numbers, the prices are very similar. In a comparison of projects that we completed in the last year, most of those projects, uh, when compared apples to apples, were within 5% of cost for cedar or vinyl for the same project. What this means is that the install cost of your project, the initial cost of installing your project, is actually only a small part of the overall cost of owning a fence, and so you should keep that in mind. So what other costs are there in owning a fence? Well, if you're doing a cedar fence, the first cost that you're gonna run into within the first year is the cost of staining. Most of the time when you purchase a fence and have it installed by a fence contractor, you're going to get a product installed that doesn't have any stain on it, so it's just bare wood. Now this is a normal process in the fencing industry, but a lot of homeowners don't understand that that's the case. And what that means is that within that first year, you're gonna have between $1,000 and $1,500 in stain for most neighborhood fences. What this does is it brings your price up. If you include the stain cost, you're already coming up close to, if not above the cost of vinyl. So keep that in mind if you're choosing a cedar fence. If you want the fence to last a long time, you're gonna to need to stain it, and that staining costs some money. It's best to plan ahead and anticipate staining every three to four years in order to keep your fence in the best condition possible. It's super easy to maintain vinyl fences. You just spray it down with a hose as needed, and you're good to go. When it comes to appearance, if you maintain your vinyl fence or your cedar fence, they're both going to look great for a long period of time, and so it's really just a matter of which one you like better. The last factor to consider is longevity, right? How long the fence is gonna last. So for cedar fences, you can expect, uh, especially if you have a wood post uh, properly set in the ground, here in the Pacific Northwest, we can expect those normally to last 10 to 15 years in, in best case scenario. And so at that point, you're gonna expect your fence to be ready to be fully replaced. Uh, even if you have steel fence posts, the cedar boards on the fence will eventually decay over time and you're gonna to have to take them down and put up a new fence. Vinyl fences, on the other hand, don't have an expiration date. The warranty on the material outlasts our expected lifespan for a cedar fence and overall, you can expect it to last as long as you own the property. Now that you've watched this video, I hope you have a better idea of which kind of fence you want. If you have more questions about cedar or vinyl fencing, leave them in the comments below or send us a message through our website.